Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set the speed, the top speed on your Mercedes-Benz, particularly AMG models. Now you've probably have just gotten your car and you're looking for ways to make it go a little bit faster and not be limited to the 250 kilometer or 155 mile an hour speed limit set from the factory. Now in order to do this safely, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. First and foremost, tires. Please make sure you have Y rated tires before you even think about changing the speed limit on the car. In fact, the factory locks the speed to 250 because that's the maximum the tires that came from factory can handle. If you want to go at any higher speed, you have to have appropriate tires meant for that speed. Now the factory locks the speed to 250 like we said, and you can go up from that to 280 km an hour or all the way to 300. You cannot go any higher because the factory again does not allow anything higher than 301 which is the highest speed available currently uh, for commercially available tires. So going back to the list of things you need, you're going to have to have Y rated tires on the car. That's number one. Number two, you're going to have to have SDS or C4 or C3 scanner connected to the vehicle and uh, you have to have Zentry and DAS with developer mode enabled. Uh, now this is available on eBay and other vendors and uh, Chinese vendors uh, sell these online. So um, I'll refer you to other sources to, to get these from. But nonetheless, you need all of these things in addition to a car capable of reaching these speeds. So as you can see, Zentry is connected to the vehicle and now it's loading. So once you get to the main screen, we want to select the appropriate vehicle or the body style. In this case, it's an SL230 body or R230. Then we're going to select the appropriate model for the vehicle itself. SL55 in this case. Once you get to the main screen of uh, the model, you want to start the diagnostics mo uh, model or mode, I'm sorry. And that will automatically start DAS. Now while DAS is loading, let's talk a little bit about the requirement for the vehicle. Now when you reach speeds such as 300 miles an hour or 300 kilometer an hour, we want to make sure that you're not only capable of reaching the speed with the horsepower, but we also want to make sure that you can stop from that speed. So please make sure you have Brembo brakes, appropriate brakes for that speed, as well as the horsepower to be able to reach that speed. So back to the DAS, it's still loading, it's still connecting to the uh, to the box, to the SDS box. Uh, the normal sequence of things to do is to go F2 or next twice, and then uh, that's going to connect to the box and get it ready. Perfect, we are connected at last. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure there are no fault codes in the vehicle. So we want to go to control units and open that. And then we're going to select the drive mode. Naturally MESFI 2.8 is the engine control module and that's where the speed limit is set. So we're going to open that. And of course I'm going to assume that you're going to read all of these to make sure you don't burn yourself or electrocute yourself. And now we are in the main menu of the MESFI. So the first step is to make sure there are no fault codes in the, in the vehicle. 
So we'll open the uh, fault code and see if we have any faults and then erase them if we have them. In this case we have no faults in this particular vehicle. So we'll go back and then make sure we don't have any events in the memory. So again double click there and see if you have any saved events. In this case we have no events. Now if you have any events or even faults you're gonna have the F8 option right there that you can actually click and follow the procedure it's gonna pop on the screen to tell you how to erase them follow that to the letter and then come back to the main menu and go to the development mode now one thing to keep in mind please make sure the engine is running it's not enough to have the ignition set to setting 2 you want it to be running next step is we want to go to the adaptation and we're going to select control unit adaptation variant coding that's the manual coding for different features in the vehicle and then we're going to select the AMG C6, C6 stand and this is going to pop up with all of the options and different settings in the ECM it may take a few seconds to load because it's a huge menu to load, relatively speaking. From this list, we want to select 224. We want to look for field 224, and that is actually the speed limiter. Once you get to it, you're going to see the, the speed limit, and you can set it to different options, starting with 160 all the way to 300. In this case, the car was already done, and it was set to 300. So, as you saw, I changed it to 250, and I'm going to program the, uh, the ECM to set it back to the factory. And as simple as that, the speed limit changed. Now let's look at it again, the way you're going to see it on your car that has never been touched before. So again, you want to open the AMG C4 stand by double-clicking it. It's going to load. Once we get the menu, we want to look for field 224 or 224. And in there, you're going to see the current speed limit. Most probably it's going to be 250. And it's going to give you two options to set it to 280 or 300 kilometer an hour. 300 is 186 mile per hour. So we're going to say, yes, we want to code this. Once we've confirmed, the coding is going to be carried out. It's going to be uploaded to the uh, ECM itself. And that's it. You hit F2 to exit out. Now exit out of DAS all the way. So we're going to hit F1 to exit out of this menu. And this one as well. And now we're going to escape to close DAS. And finally, we can exit out of Zentry. Now, all what you need to do is find a closed circuit or an Autobahn and test out this, the new speed limit. So please either travel to Germany or find a closed circuit and test out the speed limit. Another solution is to try it on a dyno. But otherwise, please don't do it on public roads. Talk to you later.